so good morning friends we'll start with the next concept that is buildings okay so in buildings what is the definition of the building first is we can understand building definition so there is one definition given by this nbc that is the national building code of india here it defines the building definition what is that building any structure for whatsoever purpose and whatsoever materials any structure which is constructed for any reason or which is constructed through any materials okay any material and that may be how how they have written every part thereof whether used as human activities or not means what whatever may be the structure whatever may be the structure whether it is used for human habitation or not human habitation or not both way it is possible okay human habitation means what residential building not for human habitation means godowns and all no so those will come for non human habitating places so any structure which is constructed for any purpose and any materials are used for human or not for human which includes foundation plinth wall floor roof chimney plumbing building service veranda balcony so any type of these <coughs> things if they are present then we call it as a building then we call it as building is it okay definition of a building definition of building anything constructed from anything for whatever purpose may be humans live or may not be humans live there inside and it should include these things then it's called as a building then it's called a building and we have classification of that building we have classification of that building what are the types okay depending upon its occupancy whether they are humans are living or not living we have some classification we have residential educational institutional assembly buildings business buildings mercantile buildings industrial storage hazardous so hazardous are nothing but highly explosive combustible materials are kept there okay mercantile means the shops stores markets okay these are the type of building okay next when we discuss this components of a building we have two basic part substructure superstructure substructure is also called by the name foundation substructure is also called by foundation super <clears throat> substructure or foundation what is that it is the lowest portion if you consider this as a ground level if this is a building okay this is a building above the ground level superstructure below the ground level so this structure is generally we call it as substructure and it's also called by the name foundation okay so this is substructure it is generally below the ground level generally below this ground level which transmits the load from superstructure to the soil so this total load this total load is a transfer to the soil through this foundation a foundation is therefore part of the structure which is in direct contact with the ground and loads are transmitted as simple as that one. so this foundation is the part of the total building structure which is in direct contact with the soil and loads are transmitted loads are transmitted okay is that clear is that clear okay now when you come to superstructure superstructure is the structure which is above the ground level this portion above the ground level and part of the superstructure located between ground level and floor level is known as plinth so there may be if you see the diagram like this this is the above ground level this is the below ground level portion here one level is there that level is called as a plinth level it is called as a plinth level okay this is the plinth level so superstructure is <clears throat> total building has components what are the components first is foundation second is masonry in its masonry means what using bricks or using stone using concrete 
anything is constructed that is called as masonry units floor structure floor structure means whatever the flooring you are using no that is called as a floor structure roof structure may be rcc may be gi sheet so whatever it is covering at the top roof structure doors windows and other openings the other openings are what doors windows <coughs> okay so those are the openings provided for access and to move from one place to another place we have what staircase you have staircase lift ramp okay at the end you have building finish like plastering painting etc these are some of the components present in the building components present in the building so when we are going to discuss the foundation or substructure we have seen it is in direct contact with the ground okay direct contact with the ground what is happening it is a transferring the load it is transferring the load and obviously soil is going to settle no whatever this portion is there it is going to settle if total settlement is uniform here also same portion here also same portion if the uniform settlement is there then total building will go inside that is a not a problem okay that is not a big problem but if uniform settlement is not there means what here a little bit settlement here more settlement okay here again less settlement here more settlement like unequal settlement that is the big problem for the building unequal settlement is a big problem for building now unequal settlement what are the reasons unequal settlement may be caused by what are the reasons okay weak soil shrinkable or expansive soil shrinkable means what when you <coughs> remove the water volume reduction sorry sorry reverse when you take out the water volume reduction when you add water volume increases so that is called as expansive shrinkable frost action frost action what is that frost action when water is present inside the soil and <clears throat> and when temperature goes down below 0 degree celsius and water is converted to ice and ice volume is large so larger volume will make what will put pressure on the foundation will put pressure on the foundation and in summer season the larger volume again converted into smaller volume so smaller volume will make settlement smaller volume will make settlement okay so like that it will cause the <coughs> it will cause the settlement unequal settlement so is that okay with you weak soil shrinking and expansive frost action frost action means water to ice ice to water volume change volume change to settlement next is movement of ground water if ground water is continuously coming there leaving here like that that is also making this portion into unequal settlement okay unequal settlement similarly if you are putting excessive vibration so that is also causing unequal settlement next is slipping of strata on sloping sides how to understand this one slipping of strata if this is a hill like this if this is a hill okay so you are going to construct a building in this area so this strata this strata may slip may slip this is all called as as slipping of strata on sloping side sloping means what it is like this horizontal or level means what like this okay so this is slipping strata from the sloping ground from the sloping ground so all these are reasons for unequal settlement unequal settlement okay <clears throat> now very important uh, concept or question from your exam point of view that is the functions of foundation very very important functions a lot of times it has been asked first is reduction in load intensity okay what is happening the purpose of the foundation is that it will distribute the loads of the structure like this if this is a structure like this it is a building no it will distribute the structure load of the structure to the larger area it is the foundation is a little bit larger no so whatever load is coming it will in <coughs> increase the loading area so this load is distributed to a 
larger area so larger area means what intensity reduces smaller area intensity is high larger area load intensity is reduced okay so how it will perform it will reduce the intensity intensity of the load okay intensity of the load so that intensity of the load is at its base does not exceed spc so whatever here load intensity is there no kilo newton per meter square that will be within spc that will be within spc that is the meaning here so first function you understand it will reduce the load intensity by taking into a larger area larger area even distribution of the load foundation distributes the non uniform load into non uniform load of the superstructure to subsoil okay now what is happening here if this is a building here only one floor is there but here two floors are there so here only one column is there here strong column is there so whatever may be the loading it will distribute this foundation total foundation is distributing unequal load to equal loads or equal intensity so that is why the name given even distribution of load first is reduction in load intensity second is even distribution of load okay so that is what it is written here if two columns carry unequal load a combined footing can be there combined footing can be there so that the load is distributed evenly okay evenly next is what provision what is this provision provision of level surface provisions are level surface means what this is the foundation foundation always provides a level surface for building to construct that is what we call it as provision of level surface lateral stability means what this total building will be strong in its place why because this foundation is inside the ground level inside the ground level so this will total act as one unit so if anything comes or load comes here also this total stability will be there so that building will not fall so that is why foundations hold the superstructure into the ground foundations will hold this superstructure inside the ground so that it will provide lateral stability such as earthquake wind force safety against undermining what is happening if you put directly building like this directly building like this undermining means what some animals will be there no so like this they will come and get inside by providing the foundation these are restricted these are restricted so that it is undermining is not there so that is why we have written safety against undermining means borrowing animals will not come inside will not come inside okay next is what protection against soil movement protection means what soil is not going to settle uniformly soil is not going to settle uniformly okay here one settlement here second like this it will not settle uniformly so by providing a foundation whatever soil is there it will be <coughs> under uniform action uniform action so that is why we have a protection against soil movements so soil movement will not be here like this will not be here like this so it is uniform okay so how many functions are there how many functions exam point of view reduction in load intensity even distribution of load level surface okay level surface and uh, what is this lateral stability undermining safety okay now last one is uh, soil movement okay protection against the soil movement these are the functions of foundation what are these requirements what are these requirements of good foundation we have seen <coughs> functions the functions can be interpreted into the requirements only okay whatever we have seen no so same thing can be written in this way also see the words what are the requirements of good foundation the foundation should sustain dead load imposed load and to transmit these things to soil such that pressure it will not cause any settlement 
of the building or adjoining structure okay now if there is a ground level if you are constructing a building here first you put foundation here foundation should be such that it should carry all the dead load okay all the imposed load okay all the imposed load and it should transmit to the ground without causing any settlement of this building as well as next building as well as next building i hope it is clear the foundation should be such that it should carry dead load imposed load transmit to the soil without any settlement of this building as well as adjoining building that is the part the base of the foundation should be rigid it's a rigid foundation okay reduce the uneven settlement reduce the uneven settlement so these are two things it should be rigid and uneven settlement should not be there okay <coughs> uneven settlements when it will happen when there is a loading which is unequal when there is a loading which is unequal so obviously here settlement will be more here settlement will be less here it is less okay settlement so settlement should not be unequal so foundation should be rigid and it should <coughs> not allow unequal settlement it should not allow unequal settlement okay and uh, next is a uh, foundation should be taken sufficiently deep to safeguard the building against damage so as possible as you should take the foundation deeper more stability and the safety purpose okay that is the meaning requirement first is load carrying okay no settlement here unequal settlement is avoided rigid is there and deep the next one is foundation should be located should be so located that its performance may not be affected to any unexpected future influence you can see unexpected future influence what do you mean by that one today in this day you have constructed you are going to construct a building of only one floor one floor so for that you have provided only this foundation only provided only this type of foundation okay so you as a engineer you understand that your foundation whatever foundation you are providing no it should be unaffected by future experience means what suddenly after 5 years if you construct another floor also your foundation should be strong to resist this one also to resist this one also that is performance of this foundation should not get affected by future by unexpected future influence by unexpected future influence okay is that okay unexpected future influence okay